Here at the London Design Summit, I'm very pleased to be joined by Sarah Miles from IO Oil and Gas Consulting. That's right. What is that company? Tell me about that. We're an offshore um, consulting company. So we are not quite a year old. So we're, we're very much a startup in some respects. Um, and we work with uh, all companies to help them find a better way of doing their offshore oil and gas projects. So, you know, it's been quite a tough time in the industry of, over the past few years. And we were set up. Uh, very much to do things differently, to be very transformational within the sector and help oil and, oil and gas companies do things differently to find better ways of doing those projects. So that's what we're about, essentially, transformation within the sector. So one of those ways of doing it is, of course, is how do you express that? So you hire a company or you commission a company like Biscuit to start to do some design work for you. So what was the project that you asked them to do? So we are a startup, and the project that they were commissioned to do is really find find a brand what what are we you know we've got an idea we know we want to be transformational um, we know we're working in a very conservative very um uh, an industry which has been going a very long time and has certain set ways of doing things and we wanted to shake it up so the brief was very much about finding um a way of expressing transformation doing things differently thinking differently and being very stand out within the the sector as well as being a company who would be seen as yes we might be new, but you, you know, we, we've got the gravitas behind us. We've got new ways and fresh ways of doing things. So the brief was: we need to be very stand out visually. Um, our, our brand values, which are very sort of, yeah, doing things differently. We, we we do things like we move desks every week. No one sits in the same place twice, and we hire people from sort of very different backgrounds than a normal sort of oil and gas consulting company might do. So we wanted that to come out within our brand visual identity. And, and so, what did you do? How do you express that? That visually to show transformation within a conservative industry? So I guess the first thing we did was try and be visually sort of, oh, that's a bit different. So our, our brand colours are purple and pink to start with. Um, we've taken inspiration from um, astrology and our company name is, is IO and it's from the, the moon of Jupiter. So we were looking about looking to the future, be very creative about you know the stars of the moon and, and doing something new and what people are interested in and innovation. Um, that's come to life in terms of also taking inspiration from thinking differently. So when you have the left and the right hand part of your brain and making sure you bring everything to the fore when you think about things. And we've used that as part of um, our visual identity as well. So really trying to bring it all together and, and I guess the best way of showing that in our in our visual identity is um, we have a, an image where we're rich, literally showing an origami dove, a paper dove that you can make um, and bringing that alive into a lovely white dove so it's sort of putting together planning and thinking about things and bringing something to life and being a bit different and transformational. Okay, so, so this is designed specifically to differentiate your business from others within the consulting field in this very this very specific uh, industry. Does, does it work? Yeah, I mean, I would also say you won't see an oil rig on our website, which you would on perhaps our competitors. And the feedback I get from, from some of our client engagements, and also it's really important for hiring. You want to hire the right people and for them to fill past the brand is very much that they, they get it, they've thought mm, that's interesting and they want to join because they want to be part of a change so yes it, it does work and it has it has stood us in good stead and I'm, I'm really pleased that we got Biscuit involved and that we've we found a very different way of expressing ourselves in quite a conservative category okay so B Biscuit were obviously the, the the folk that you got on to, to help you you know create this transformation as, as you say how did they push you to do things that you weren't expecting to do you might want to be transformational <laughs> but you could have been transformed more yeah I suppose it was, it, we've had some interesting discussions, as you, as you can imagine, as always happens. And, uh, yeah, they presented an awful lot of different concepts, taking us in very different routes. And I, and I think we had some interesting and tough conversations, which you would expect. You have to have those healthy discussions. And I think we found the right place to go. They, they showed us lots of different ways forward, but I think we hit the right note in terms of that balance between wanting to be very different, but also being mindful of our client base, being very conservative and a certain mindset. So getting the right difference. You can't go completely left the field otherwise you'll, you won't take your clients with you. Mm. Why no oil, oil rig image? Because I think again we wanted to say it's more than just about that. If you 
without boring everyone with the offshore industry, it's quite a complex beast. Um, certainly, I've learned a lot about it since getting into the industry. Um, and I think that's a very traditional way of looking at it. And it's about far more than just what you might see on the news in, in the North Sea in that, that respect. So we wanted to be very different. And, and to make our clients go, well, I haven't heard the name yet because you're new, mm. but I'm really interested in finding out more because I've not seen anything like that before. Who chose the purple and the pink? Was it you or <laughs> was it Biscuit? I think it was actually my boss. Uh, so Dan Jackson, our CEO, who's, who's a real advocate of brand and design and so on. So I think he probably, yeah, was the final vote, if I'm being fair. And, and it's working? Yeah, I, I definitely think so. We have a huge number of people coming to the website, given our sector. We've, we've had lots of um, feedback from, as I say, clients and recruitment aside. The business is doing well. Um, so, yeah, I think we're, we're doing it. But it's, as a, it's a brand. It's living and evolving, and I'm interested to see where it's going to take us next. Yeah, the, the moves that you're doing here will not be the last moves, so you'll Indeed. have to always evolve. That's true. Sarah Miles, thank you so much. Great to meet you. Thank you.